It's been over six months since we went out with the dog. Time to take it for a run. Okay, Charlie. And typically just before we decided to start, um, the wind started gusting. Who's watching this stern? The answer was nobody. Well, me. But not from a good position. In the corner, I couldn't see a green light. Uh, on the red, the gates were open. Needed to come through. Our grandson Charlie was enjoying himself out on the bow, helping Janet with the deck work. Nice to have a crew in training. Ava was busy chatting with me up on top deck. Just running first run of the year, check things out. Just come out of Hartlepool, I'm going to go down towards Saltburn, and it's April. Um, Charlie wants to see some gannets if we can find some. Ignore all the bird calls, but we've got two jets ahead. I think one's got Sunakin and one's got Starmer. Yeah, they flew over us just to check us out. Oh, they've got too much money. We'll take that off them. We're on 
the boat. We haven't. The boat takes all the money. So not only did we see a couple of puffins, Charlie saw his gannets as well. Now I always say you need to keep a very close lookout for pots. Didn't see this one coming. But we were distracted by grandkids. So the lookout wasn't keeping a sharp eye out. Yeah, we've got one of the T's dredgers. We've got to pass well behind him. And there's another one in the distance, a yacht in between, doesn't it? Once again, we're just approaching the uh, Tees channel, so I'll be calling them up shortly for permission to cross. And so, all too soon, it's time to bid back. Lovely run out, everything ran smoothly, apart from nearly hitting a pot. joined in the lock by uh, another uh, cruiser following us in. It's, it's 